We've had this about a hundred years in our family, this part. You know, we're at the part of our lives that we're not going to be working as much as we were when we were younger, so it just seemed like a good time to kind of do this and kind of return this land back to the way it was many centuries ago. Over hundreds of years, this, this property's been worked to produce some sort of agricultural product. Uh, and in doing so, they channelized this stream, you know, cut it into a straight ditch. And in doing so, that also created lobes and mounds and berms, essentially creating disconnected water flow. You know, the construction went to correct that and, you know, kept those berms and kind of graded them down so that the, the, the river can get up and disperse that water across the floodplain like it naturally is supposed to do. So if this was a straight ditch the way it was five, six years ago, a lot of the upstream materials, erosion, would be, you know, being displaced through the stream channel and continuing down to where it hits a culvert that's too small to handle that load and then it, you've got a flood issue. Uh, so what this wetland does is kind of mitigate those issues by dispersing all those materials onto the floodplain the way it's supposed to do, improving nutrients and uh, microbial life in the wetland itself. Did you know the Tennessee's lost nearly a million acres of wetland habitat? It's a lot, isn't it? I'm Chris Roberts, Director of Conservation with the Wildlife Federation, and we've been busy restoring wetlands, streams, grasslands, and forest habitat across the state. Today, I'm at our West Fork Drakes Creek project in Sumner County, where we've restored nearly 50 acres of wetland habitat and over 3,000 feet of stream. Why are wetlands so important? Well, wetlands are important for filtering pollutants out of our drinking water, providing excellent wildlife habitat. And they're also really important for storing flood water during heavy rain events. When we got it converted, then I really started seeing it. It's, you know, like in uh, February, we hear frogs like crazy when they first start coming out. And of course, you know, we're seeing the deer. I know that deer would cross the farm, but now they're kind of staying on this area. You know, I've been pleased with how things have turned out. I know the trees are going to get bigger and everything, so it's got to be patience and hopefully I, I live to see all that stuff, but uh, you know, until I actually saw it visually, I didn't really have an idea of how it was going to be. The benefits that you get out of these minor experiences, whether it's hearing a, you know, a common yellow throat or flushing an American woodcock, you know, these are opportunities that are pretty neat to come by today in such a modern world. There's a rarity to these experiences and uh, they're becoming fewer to get this opportunity. To have a landowner that's interested in uh, restoring a little piece of their land, it's a great opportunity to get your, your kids, your grandkids back into something that maybe you were interested in as a kid. I think there's a, an incredible intrinsic value to uh, you know, this kind of work. There's no better time to start than now and once you start, you're gonna wish that you started 10 years ago.